The Photoshop techniques we're going to look at in this video have been a staple of mine for very many years. With this shot, I remember waiting an age for the two birds to perhaps look the opposite way, so they were both beak to beak, but they never did. I would have liked to have swung my framing to the left, but there was a different bird with its back to me on the left, so I couldn't do that either. Let's start with a simple selection using the rectangular marquee tool from the toolbox. I'm going to select that tool and click and drag just to the right of that bird. What I'm trying to do here is maybe avoid that little bit of grass because that may be something we would notice later. Whereas this little bit here, perhaps it'll merge with what I want to do next, which is to go to select and mask and to give this a degree of feather. Now I'm looking at this in the black and white option. I tend to find that meets my needs for most of the work I do here. You can see the feather I've got is about 60 pixels and we're working with a 20 megapixel image here. So that gives you some idea of the amount. Let's just click OK and bring this back to the selection. If I hit Control J, I'm going to copy that selection to a new layer, and we can see that over on the top right. Now, if I select my Move tool, and I use my Shift key and my keyboard arrows, the cursor control keys, I can nudge that pelican on the left to the right. Now, how far I go, I'm looking at how the grasses emerge in there. And if I find a nice little sweet spot, then I would stop at that point. Now we would save these as a layered file as we're going through the work. But for this particular video, I'm gonna speed things up by going up to the top right of the layers and choosing to merge those two layers together. Well, I've got an obvious problem on the left here, but if I select that rectangular marquee tool again, and we just about cover where the beak is poking in. We can go to Edit, Content Aware Fill. The left-hand side of this screen is using this green area to do the repair. And we can see the result on the right-hand side. Got a bit of a repetition here, so I may have to do a few touches with the healing brush or the clone tool, but nothing that's going to give us a great deal of a problem. It's set to rectangular at the moment, so I could say, well, let's go to auto. Or what I could say, I suppose, is if I went back to the options on the left-hand side, select the brush and the minus, maybe I could say, do the repair, but don't do the repair using just that little bit. Is that going to help? No, it doesn't. So these things are worth trying, but if they don't work, then we'll just find another way to do what we want to do. So let's go down at the bottom right, click OK, and complete that repair, then Control D to remove the selection. First things first, I suppose, is now I could do that nice tight crop, which I was looking for when I was actually shooting the images. So let's go to the crop tool. There's no values at the top of the screen, so I'm just going to drag in. And the sort of image I'm looking for is so that each bird has got a fair degree of space either side of the beak. Maybe I could lose a little bit of that sky. Hit the Enter key, Control 0 and we've done a pretty good job. We've still got two layers top right, so at any stage now we can flatten the image to finish. Now let's see if I can get what I originally wanted in camera using the same techniques. I've added six inches of canvas to the right hand side. You can see that as the blue checkerboard effect and I've made a selection of the left hand pelican. No softening of the edge here. Control J will copy that to a new layer. The move tool will allow me to move that to the right. I may need to position this somewhere different in a moment, but we'll see. Down at the bottom of the layers, I'm going to add a mask. From the toolbox, I want black as my foreground color. I want my gradient tool, and I want this option, which is foreground to transparent. 
I need a very small gradient between this point and about this point because I don't want to lose the tip of that pelican. But I think I could do with a little more. So maybe I've got to move this pelican a little bit more to the right. Maybe I was a bit optimistic there. And already you can see it's working quite well. So let me pick up my crop tool and we'll crop in. Now what we have here is in fact a better result than my original idea. I only added the second version to fill in a minute of video. Simple techniques but powerful results. I'll see you next time.